What treats are good for our pets? And what don't we know about the pet food industry? I used to feed them just kibble, like it's easy to do, but then I got a bit into just researching and just read between the lines and just looking at what is in this food we're giving them. You are relying on what you see on the packaging. I'd rather feed my dog something that I know has gone into it. As we came to the end of filming Black and Gold GSD documentary, it was clear food was a regular conversation during this time. So much so that we thought we needed to dedicate a whole other documentary, covering just some of what we learned. What is in this food we're giving them? Sustainable ingredients with full transparency are a must. And after meeting Katerina, it was clear to see a rising disruptor bring her vision to market in this space. When I lived in Munich, we were living close to a healthy dog bakery. The woman who ran it, she was a vet nurse and she created her own balanced foods and biscuits. I went there with my dog nearly every week. And it was all super fun just seeing what new creations she came up with. And it was such a happy place and the dog loved it and whatever I gave to the dog. My dog was happy. It was all good, natural ingredients. So I thought it was normal. But then coming to Australia, looking into the pet shops, seeing all these colorful plastic packaging, screaming to you, I'm healthy, I'm natural. But then hiding the 20 ingredients on the backside in really small letters with words most people don't even know what it is. I found that disgusting. We need to change that. And there must be more people like us that are health conscious, that actually reads the ingredients. And if not, we need to raise that awareness. We need to tell people how easy it is to take good care of your pets. You've just got to become educated and work out what's best for you and what's best for your dog as well.